What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to teach you how to do launch control on a manual Hellcat. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go here on the button where it says SRT. It's like a shortcut. You're going to hit there. SRTs. I always like to drive my uh, my driving modes on track when I'm by myself. Well, when I'm you know with other people, I like to drive it on default. What is this? The settings are softer. But usually I like to drive it on, on track and I put a uh, street mode on the traction. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit here where it says uh, race options. Also you can hit a shortcut here where it says launch control. So you hit activate launch control. And it's gonna show here that it's ready. And also here's gonna give you directions. It's gonna say to launch, press clutch, and quickly apply full, full throttle. Now you're gonna have your foot on the brake you can have it in first gear, but you have to do that transition very quickly. You have to go from brake to gas, to the gas pedal very quickly. If you don't, then it's, it's not going to activate. Go to this race option right here. It's going to say launch RPM setup. So it's going to go from 2500 all the way up to 4500. Now you're going to get a lot of wheel spin if you're at 4500. What you want to do is you want to start your lowest setting, which is 2500. Okay, there's three steps to this. Put our first gear, launch control button. It's gonna turn on the LED. It's gonna give you an indication on your dashboard right there. It says launch, press clutch quickly, and apply full throttle. And what it's doing right now is just bouncing to the set RPMs you put it to. So what we're gonna do now is actually do the launch control. Okay guys, let's get set right here. Remember, the three steps. First gear, launch control button. Stop the clutch. And that's how you do the launch control. install I got two of these we're gonna get them installed today we have an appointment at one we're kind of a little bit late so let's go let's get them off let's get them on was it it hasn't rattled yet what you mean uh, because just from experience man I don't know why but it's happening with the device. <laughs> anytime we remove or do anything with the mic pipes yeah you know how you got the actuators the valves yeah they start to rattle like months later and i think it's because they're just not designed to get that much flow oh the actuators yeah the actuators start to rattle okay it's a weird defect the dealer won't <clears throat> they won't fix it so i just tell every guy that has the same car because if FYI, not because if, if, if not then i will just leave them open yeah, you can. Yeah. But it's still gonna rattle. <clears throat> I'm fine with it. You're fine with it? Yeah. That's if it does. Yeah, I've had the car for a year already, so. Yeah, but you're. Right now it's restricted, mm -hmm. so there's not that much flow, right? Mm -hmm. Once you remove those and put the high flow ones, yeah. it's gonna flow a lot more. The actuators sometimes can't handle that. They much can't flow. handle it. Yeah. 
Okay. So if it does happen in the future and you start hearing rattle, that's what it is. It's the actuators. Okay. Yeah, just I've had two guys already that we dealt with it, and that's what it was. One of them was a black one, some dude named Luke. I know him. Luke? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. about it. Yeah, I know him. Been, he's got a, he's, he has a scat pack. Scat pack, yeah. Yeah. We've been dealing with that forever, and it's the actuator, and we found it out. So. But yeah, no problem. Let me move these cars around, man, because I was working on this one. Okay. But I'll just do yours first. Sweet. And, and yeah, that way you guys Yeah, if you don't mind if I record you, right? No, I mean, you'll be back here, or? Yeah, that's fine. I can, from here, will be good. <laughs> Got a nice shot, man. Yeah, let me just, if you want to back it out a little bit, and then I'll bring it in. Sweet. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're here at the shop. We're here at uh, first place auto mufflers. And uh, we're going to do the mid mufflers delete or swap. I'm going to put these uh, bullet racing bullets I, I bought. And as you can see right here, He's hooking me up. He's going to make me move the car so he can take care of me. So this is what I'm going to be putting on. As you can see, they're straight through. Bam! So we're going to put these on and hopefully see how it's going to sound. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to move the car. And right here, so I can give you before and after to see how they're going to sound. So it's going to be loud. So if you're wearing uh, headphones, you've been warned. Like I said, I didn't move them. They're good. I'm happy with it, man. And if they moved, I would have blamed you. <laughs> That's why I asked you. Is it clear? No, just yeah. kidding, man. Right, man. I appreciate it, man. Right on, guys. Take it easy. Yeah, have fun with it.
I will. Make sure you post some videos. I'm gonna do a big burnout right here. Yeah, no, 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 I'm kidding. Those are all bike tracks out here. Okay. I have it in track mode right now. It sounds it sounds really good. They're not lying when they say that you should, every Hellcat should get this mod done. They're not lying. It's it's worth it's worth it. I love it. It sounds really good now. Okay, and here I got the big mufflers I just took off. Got them back. So if I want to go back to stock, there we go. See how I Check these out. Pretty much they go straight through. It's done. It took a while to get done, but I know my neighbors are gonna love me now. So this is for all you right here. All my neighbors, I did it for you. You're welcome. Okay guys, this is it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And also do me a favor, hit that notification bell because a lot of videos are gonna be coming up soon and I don't want you guys to miss anything. And like always, Take it easy.